Hi guys, how are you? My name is Rodney, and yes, today we finally got our hands on the very difficult to find Maline Lux. As you can see, I was lucky enough to snag the last one from Target, which I'm really excited about because I ended up paying $40 for her rather than the $50 that I would have paid for Sabrina and Aisha. Um, which is kind of weird because there's a little bit of a juxtaposition there because I would have preferred to pay 50 for Maline and 40 for them because in my opinion she is the prettiest of all the divas which was something I didn't know prior to opening her up and so uh, overall I'm totally satisfied with the way that they executed Maline. These are pretty cool. So soft. This restyle was pretty fun to do because it enabled me to, well, forced me to rather, um, tap into that creative mode again. I had a vision for Maline's hair, and so I went on Amazon to purchase these beads, but when they arrived, they were unfortunately too small. Thankfully, I ordered something else along with the beads, and then I used those in replacement of the beads. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see if you understand what I'm talking about later. Need I say more? <laughs> oh. Whoa, her earrings. <laughs> okay. She's beautiful. Look at her face. Look at her face. Oh, the gold nail polish. So cute. Oh, ooh, look at that. That's brilliant. Wow. It's lit perfect all right i've spoken in the past about how i don't look too deeply into the dolls until i get them in my own hands so i didn't know that she was this pretty you know i've seen her in the pictures obviously i knew that she existed but for her to look like this i didn't know that she was so beautiful and i'm happy that i waited to get her last because she was a real treat Maline's hair is quite astounding in person i love the color the texture of it it's really soft and high quality and yes it looks like ramen noodles when it's wet but i love noodles so hey, that's a plus for me Never knew a moment could feel so right Could slow down time like this Everything I needed is in your eyes and in your mind Maybe it's crazy to fall so soon Give it all to you Please promise me you'll stay 
stay Cause I'm not going anywhere That had to be my favorite montage of all the montages I've done. It was just so beautiful. So yeah, this is what we're going to be watching tonight. This is something that one of my subscribers recommended to me in the comments. This is Malene's hair about like nine hours later after I came home from work. She's worth the money for her hair alone. It's astounding to say the least. So here's my styling bag. I didn't say little again this time. <laughs> um, all of these products are linked in the description. You're going to see here soon the new product that I got, um, which I, honestly, I don't even know what it is. Is it hair? I don't even know if it's for, if it's for hair. <laughs> I have to look into that. I just thought about that. Yeah, here it is. So that's what I use to kind of emulate the beads. And we're using a straw to define her curls. I tried to do something different. It didn't really work out, but it was cute for the moment. So yeah, enjoy this.
Sun and it shines as it opens. Where your heart is the sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, your heart is the sun and it shines as it opens. Where your heart is the sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, your bones are the earth and they sing. With the mountain, where well, your bones are the earth, and they sing with the mountain. Yeah, your bones are the earth, and they sing with the mountain. Where well, your bones are the earth, and they sing with the mountain. Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? Why would you Outside yourself when you have all of the world is outside. Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world yeah, your inside? Your mind is a space that creates your horizon. Well, your mind is a space that creates your horizon. Yeah, your mind is a space that creates. Horizon. Well, your mind is a space that creates your horizon. Say, why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? Alrighty, so we're going to be letting Malene sit out to dry under the AC for a few hours. I'm not really sure how long I waited to... It was like, it was less than 10 hours, I think. So, yeah, uh, my hair was dry, though, in the back. Like I said, I tried to define her curls, which they are cute now. But you're going to see when I when I take out when I, I tried to separate the curls um, didn't really quite work out. But I didn't want to put conditioner in her hair this time around. You know, so it's fine, though. I, I think I fixed it. I just have to, like, re-wet it and comb through it again and do all of that. Um, and so I'll do that in a couple of minutes on camera you'll see <laughs> i always make the mistake of making her making their tendrils too thick i don't know why i keep doing that because when like i guess when i style the hair i mean it's pretty thin when it's wet and so you don't think that 10 strands is a lot but 10 strands can be a lot when it's dry so oh gosh i have to fix that mistake for the next time so yeah this is me trying to separate her curls uh, no that's I mean, it's cute. I mean, it's cute. It's not bad, but I didn't like, I don't, I didn't like something about it. There's something special about her natural curls. And so I wanted to get those back. Hopefully I didn't ruin them too much. She has super high quality hair. So I'd, I'd be surprised if it couldn't revert back to what it was. Um, so here, yeah, here we are. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to like fill in because I don't want to put music on this part. And I'm trying to like, what do I say? I don't want it to be like silent. Okay. So we're going to be putting these beads in her, uh, not in her hair, on her face. Um, these are gold. I don't think I've used the gold ones before. Maybe, did I use gold on Sabrina? I don't really remember. You guys let me know if I used the gold before. But look, I put like the little teardrop one in the corner of her like eyeliner. And I put three little um, things in a triangle form. Well, you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> you can clearly see what I did. But yeah, I chose that design because I, I think that it suits her best. And so these ones that I'm putting in the crevices of her eyes are heart-shaped ones. So I thought that would be a cute little touch. So yeah, you can't really see them too much, but they're there and they're heart-shaped. 
<laughs> these tiny little earrings are from Amazon as well. I have some of these in silver and in rose gold. Um, so I'm using the rose gold ones on her, which it doesn't really matter because the stem, the part that's actually colored, is hidden in the hair. So I just chose random parts to put that in her hair. And then um, the earrings that you're going to see me pull out next are earrings that I want to actually put in her head, in her ears. <laughs> these are um, from Etsy. I, I think they're from Etsy. Yeah, they're from Etsy. And a link for those are in the description as well. It's funny because I watched uh, Jay's slash Zombie X Corn's video on Harley, and he said that she had a pimp coat. But if anybody has a pimp coat, it's definitely Malene. This is the definition of a pimp coat, okay? It's so it's super thick. It's so soft though. It's really nice quality, and it's really pretty. I think it's cheetah print on the back. I'm not 100% sure, but this is something that you would definitely see in a movie. And if this was real fur. I don't know how much it would cost, but I'm like, where is she wearing this to? So yeah, here she is all finished up. Her hair still wet, so it looks a little bit of a mess. It'll get better later. Um, this part is um, really nice because I wanted to showcase like how gold she really was. And you'll see later, I compared her to Marissa. And Marissa was part of the slumber party line, and her last name is Golding. Um, but this is actually gold like this is gold gold. They, it's so funny how they can establish like different shades of the uh, different colors, you know, but it's brilliant Look how beautiful that little video was, but yeah, she's definitely gold and she looks luxurious Look at look at the beads in her hair like the little things that I have It looks like little crowns and stuff, which is cool. So here's them all ensembled up together um I love how they look in conjunction with one another. You know what's funny though? After this restyle, I think I, I kind of want to like, I either want to buy another Maline or put her hair back how it originally was after I washed it. I really love it in that down kind of style. It's beautiful. So yeah, look at her. Oh my gosh, she's just a prince, a princess, a queen, royalty. She's all of that. And this dress is just astounding for the third time today. <laughs> so yeah guys let me know if you like this restyle let me know which um outfit you like the best i think that this right here this right here i love the way that they look all together um so we have beyonce kelly Rowland, and michelle i think that's my that's my cousin told me i'm not really sure which one is michelle or kelly Rowland, but they're so pretty i don't regret getting them at all i am so happy that i got all three of them finally and i'm happy that i i, I got to Maline last like i said because she was the icing on the cake you know my display looked a little bit empty but them together standing together like this they're besties they're sisters and they just they, oh my god i just i, I don't know it, it does something to me to look at them like this so yeah let's talk in the comments guys let me know which one is your favorite because at this point i think that Maline is definitely my favorite which is unexpected because sabrina was originally my favorite Oh gosh, yeah.